This story is called You're Not My Type by Bianca. There once lived a man named Charles Avery. Charles was born into a very wealthy family and was used to getting everything he wanted from buying the most expensive cars, food, clothing, and homes to charming his way into any woman's heart. Yup, no one had ever said no to Charles. Well, that was until he met Jill Slade. Jillian was a woman Charles had met one afternoon at a cafe. After he politely introduced himself, they both sat down at a table together and Charles ordered some coffee and pumpkin bread. The two spent hours talking about music, books, and any other topic that came up. Time flew by and soon it was getting close to the cafe's closing time. Jillian thanked him for the food, the drinks, and the company and was about to leave when Charles grabbed her gently by the hand and said, Jillian, I had a really good time with you this evening. I'd like to get together with you again. How about tomorrow night? Dinner and a movie, my treat. There was a small pause between the two. Suddenly, Charles watched as Jillian's sweet smile turned into a nasty scowl. I'm sorry, Charles, she said. It's just that, well, you're just not my type, she said angrily. She jerked her hand away from his grasp and stormed out of the cafe. As for Charles, he just sat there dumbstruck. He couldn't understand what had gone wrong. Everything was going so well. They were getting along so beautifully. What happened that made her so angry? Well, being the stubborn man that he was, Charles was not about to let Jillian go. She had told him that she was a creature of habit. So for the next few weeks, Charles would go to the cafe with flowers and wait for her. And every day when she saw him standing outside the cafe, she would get back to her car and drive away. This continued for a long time. Weeks so turned into a month, and a month quickly turned into two months. Finally, Charles couldn't take it anymore. After Jillian drove off for what felt like the hundredth time, Charles threw the flowers he had brought for her that day to the ground. He began to stomp on them violently, not caring if anyone saw his outrageous behavior. That's it. That's the final straw, he thought angrily. Jillian Slade, I'm going to make you my girlfriend if it's the last thing I do. The next day, Charles looked up Jillian's address in a phone book. K4762 Auburn Lane and drove straight there. It was getting dark outside and a thunderstorm began to brew. By the time Charles reached Jillian's house, he ran quickly to the front door and pounded on it impatiently. The mail slot open. Charles, what the heck are you doing? Jillian's voice came from it. Charles got on his knees so that he could be at eye level with the mail slot. Jillian, he said, I don't understand why you don't go out with me. We had such a great time together at the cafe. We obviously have a lot in common. We enjoyed each other's company. I don't understand what went wrong. Why won't you go out with me? I already told you, Charles. You're not my type, she said calmly. What is your type? What do I have to do to get you to go out with me? He shouted angrily. There was a long pause. Then Jillian opened the door, a gloomy look on her face. Oh, Charles, 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 she said sadly. If you really want to know what my type is, come inside and I'll show you. Pleased that his determination was beginning to pay off, Charles gladly stepped inside. See that door at the end of the hall? She said, closing the door. Yeah, he said, looking down the hallway in front of them. Go inside and you will see what type of men I like. Charles did as she instructed. He opened the door and saw a staircase that led to a basement 
As he walked down the stairs, Charles figured that Jillian had pictures or portraits of ex-boyfriends that she wanted him to see. When he reached the bottom of the stairs, he noticed there was an odor of rotting meat. What the hell? He thought, putting his hand over his nose and mouth. Next to him on the wall, he saw a big light switch and flipped it. The lights came on, and to his horror, he saw the bodies of twelve dead young men. Some nailed to the wall, some hung upside down from the ceiling, and others in wooden boxes on the floor. All of them had their eyes sewed open. Panicky, Charles quickly looked around for an exit, but there were no doors or windows. Suddenly, he felt someone tipping him on his shoulder. He turned around, and with one swift swing of her axe, Charles' head went flying across the room, his body falling to the ground. Jillian put down her axe and walked over to Charles' severed head. She put it up and said, Now you're my type, Charles, and she kissed him on the lips.